the energy problem the world has is not really the one that you, you hear about or see in the US or Europe. If you're in the US, you say, our demand growth for electric power is like 3% a year. It's pretty, we have a whole uh, power infrastructure. And yeah, it'd be nice to get rid of the coal plants for climate change, but kind of the world works for us. Uh, the trouble is, we Americans use about 11 kilowatts, 11,000 watts. That's, uh, watts is energy per unit time. So it's very much like each and every American has 11 toasters running. Toasters are about a kilowatt. So we have these, uh, each of us have 11 toasters running all day, every day. Now, of course, we don't really have toasters, but this is taking all the energy that we use in heating our buildings, in air conditioning, in all the primary energy uses. It's like 11 toasters. Now, if you look at the world and you say, what is the world average? Well, the world average energy usage is about 2,500 uh, watts, 2.5 kilowatts, way less than us. If you look at China, China happens to be today right about at the world average. Now, in this century, China is going to try to get up to the 11 kilowatts that we have. Um, Africa, per capita, 800 watts. So the Africans don't even have one toaster each. But their economies are developing. You know, the Indians, well, they got, you know, a toaster and a half. They all want 11 toasters. They're all gonna go to 11 toasters. So what that means is uh, the total primary energy budget of Earth is not about saying, oh, we're fixing the US and hey, we only grow by 3%, but we'll do some conservation and conservation may be able to make us flat and then we'll put on little renewables and we'll get a little of this and why we can decline a little bit. No, we're going to grow the whole world's energy supply by a factor of five this century. So when you look at all of these things about climate change and cutting back and oh, we can get 20% from wind, we need a factor of five. We need that factor of five because the whole world's starting to get rich. So if you think about the real energy problem for the 21st century, it's not to say, how can we cut the US back a bit? How can we cut Western Europe back? No, it's about how we can let the rest of the world in on the lifestyle that we have. Because they want it, they're gonna go for it. Hot places want air conditioning. People want computers, they want transportation. They want all the things that we have. And you can't deny it to them. Uh, uh, short of going to war with them, how, how could you stop them? 